Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. Is your humble friend Kufre Ibarra Francis, the founder First Fish Academy. Today is about water testing. All right, so we have uh, 11 bottle water before me here, which we are going to use to carry out the test. All right, a lot of you might wonder, uh, what concerns fish and water? All right, you know, for fish to survive, you need quality water. For you as human to survive, you also need quality water. All right, so we have to go to a very a well-known supermarket to get this water. We didn't want to get it from a roadside as to avoid getting water that is not from the real source or from the company. That's why we got this from the super shop, from the super store. All right, so before us here, all right, we have the, the, the charts, all right, that we're going to use to, to indicate after we use our, our pH, our liquid tester, all right, for this test. We decided to use, um, or I decided to use the liquid tester because I, I prefer it to the electronic tester, all right. For the electronic tester, if there's any fault, all right, it can give you some error code, which might actually affect your testing. But for this liquid tester, if it is red, it is red. If it is green, it is green. If it is green, if it is blue, if it is purple, it will totally show you that it's purple. All right. So this chart will actually show you if the water is perfect or not. And then we also have our test tube for this uh, to carry out this test. All right. Let me mention the water that we have here. All right. Because some of you may have some of this water in your country, in your state. And then when you go to buy, you know, oh, Fish Academy actually made a video as regards this water. So we have the Swan water, we have the Aquadana water, we have the Eva water, we have the Lassine water, we have the Nestle water, we have the Nestle with zinc, all right, we have um, the Seaway water, we have the Lassina water, we have the Lirio water, we have the Ma Ma Manjaro water, and then the Mari Table water. This is the waters that we are the water that we are going to use in carrying out this test, and maybe subsequently any other water that you may want us to use. And then um, let's swing direct into the practical session of this video. All right, after this video, the next upload that we are going to upload on our channel is how you can even prepare your liquid tester. So please anticipate for that video in case you've not subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button below this video all right and then turn on the notification bell in order for, for you to be notified whenever we upload new video like the next one which uh, we are going to upload after now all right so let's swing directly into the practical session of this uh, uh, video which is the testing of waters of or te water testing so um, we are uh, diving straight to the practical section. All right, I told you earlier that we have our tester being the liquid tester, as you can see. All right, and then we have our test tube for this practical. We have our pH chart. So whenever we test any water, we'll bring it down to this chart so we see if it is acidic, uh, alkaline, or it is uh, uh, neutral or normal water. All right, and then we also have our empty candies where we are going to be uh, uh, trashing every of our uh, test and then we'll rinse it inside this particular water. So for this practical, we're going to start with uh, Liri, all right, I mean uh, Mari Table Water. We are starting with Mari Table Water. So I'm going to open this. Did you hear that sound? has never been opened before so i just open it now and then here is my test tube all right very neat and dry all right so i'll get a drop into the test tube you can see you can see this so let me let me get it five mil per test five mil all right, so we have it at five mil right away. All right, so we're gonna drop the pH, the liquid tester into it, just to drop. So this is also new. So we drop this. One, two. So this is what we got from uh, Mari Table 
water. All right, so let's take it straight to the pH chart. If you bring it to the chart, you know that this is pH 7. Wow. Wow. It means it is neutral. It is. It means that it is normal. It is good for drinking. So, yeah. Congratulations, Mary Table Water. Uh, all right. So, we're going to trash this right in here. So, and then we rinse it in here. So, we are done with Mary Table Water. So we're gonna cook that and then we're gonna cook that and then take it behind here to show that it has been tested. And then so the next on our queue here is uh, the Majaro uh, table water. All right. So we're gonna open this. Did you hear that sound? All right. So don't forget the test tube has been rinsed already. And we just have to shake it this way to ensure every liquid leaves the tester. So I'm also going to use this to rinse it also to ensure we don't have anything left. So we're also going to take it to 5 mil. All right. So we have it at, let me drop a little off. It's a little bit more 5 mil. So we have this at five mil. So we're going to drop two drops of the twister into the test tube. Wow. Can you see this? Can you see this? So we take it to the chart. We take it to the chart. It shows that the water is perfect for the body. All right. It is neutral. It is not acidic. It is not alkaline. All right. So yeah kudos to manjaro table water all right so we'll trash it without wasting any time we we'll have to keep doing that all right so we rinse that we just have to rinse this we we'll have to cook this and then we'll take it behind so we're going to test for leary water so open this then I have to rinse the test tube with the lily water first. All right, can you see what I've done? And then take it to five mil. So this is five mil of lily water inside the test tube. So we're also gonna drop this into it. One, two. All right, you can see this. All right, so we'll take it to the chart again. It shows that it's still pH 7. So, lyric water. I hope I, I pronounce it well. All right. Lyric water also passed the test. All right. Also passed the test. So, I'm going to trash it and then rinse it off. All right. So, we cook it and then take it behind. So, we have Lacina. Lacina water next. So let's open Lacina. Can you hear that sound? Then we're going to rinse the test tube with Lacina water first. All right, and then we get it to 5 mil. All right, so we're going to drop the liquid tester into the test tube. All right. One, two. Wow. Can you spot the difference? Can, can you spot the difference here? Oh, Lassina, 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 Lassina falls into uh, pH. It falls into pH 9. Lassina falls into pH. Should I even say pH 9.5? That's where Lassina falls into. Lacina water. Can you can you see this? Lacina, Lacina, Lacina. Shows the water is alkaline. Highly alkaline. Okay? That is for Lacina water. So we're gonna trash it. We're gonna trash it and then we'll take it behind. 
So uh, Lassina is alkaline. All this water we are gotten from a well-known supermarket, super shop in Port Harcourt. We did not get any of it from the roadside. So we wanted to ensure we they are all original. That was we have to go to the biggest supermarket to get this. So the, next we have we have the seaway. So we're gonna open seaway and then rings. Rinse the test tube with seaway. All right, and then we'll get it to five mil into inside the test tube. All right, that is five mil, and then we drop two drop of the pH tester. One, two. One, two. Can you see this? Can you see this? Then we'll take it to the tester. Take it to the tester. I can say we are having. Uh, uh, we are having, we are having, we are having pH six here. Uh, pH six here. pH six. All right. That is for seaway. All right. We'll trash it and then we'll rinse it off. And then we'll take it back behind. All right, so we have the next two. We have the next two water, the one with uh, protected with zinc, the green cover, next two, protected with zinc. So we'll uncork it. Can you hear that sound? And then we take it to the, we use the next two to rinse. We're gonna rinse, rinse it, the test tube with the next two water and then drop five mil of it into the test tube and then we drop the tester into it one two protected with zinc uh if you take it you see that it actually passed the test next to water pass the test it's neutral ph7 so we'll trash it and then we'll take it back and then we also have the next two water with blue cover. I don't know what this one is protected with. The other one is protected with zinc. So we, we uncork it, rinse it with um with the normal water. I mean rinse it with next two and then drop five mil into the test tube. And then we drop the tester into it to drop. One, two um you can see this one is uh let's say this one is six six point six this six point six the next two the blue cover six point six six point six six point six all right it's still okay but it's six point six not up to seven so i rinse it off and then we we'll take it back then we have the last thing let's test it Can you hear that sound? We just open that. And then we're going to rinse it. All right. And then. Can you see this? And then we drop two liquid of this into this. If you take it to this chart, it's still okay. The Lassin water actually is pH 7 in here. So trash it, rinse it, all right? Then take it back stage, back stage. And then we have we have Eva, Eva from the supermarket also. We uncork the Eva. You can hear that. We use the EVA to rinse the test tube. All right, and then we drop five mil into the test tube. And then drop the liquid tester into it. One, two. So it actually passed the test also. Can you see this? Take it to the charts. Yeah, pH seven. So we'll trash it. Take it backstage. We still have the Aquafina. 
and then the swan spring water so we're going to test the aquafina now can you hear that then we use the aquafina to rinse the test tube first right and then we drop five mil of aquafina into the test tube and then we drop two drop of the liquid tester into it all right what we have here yeah we can see we have we can have we have ph7 we have ph7 here all right so that's it shows the water is normal and it's good they will take it backstage then we have the swan water uh last but not the least so we rinse the test tube inside here and then we turn the we use the, the swan to rinse the test tube we we'll drop it right and then we drop five mil of swan into the test tube for test and then we drop five mil i mean we we'll drop two two drop of the tester into the test tube and then this is what we got ph7 normal water good for drinking all right so from the video you can spot the the different at least you saw the one that did not actually have that did not that was alkaline and then i'm going to go to my tap now the one in my house all right i'm again let me rinse this let me just rush get the one in my house so we can test the water that run, the borehole water that runs in my house uh, uh tap rushing in my house all right from the borehole here in my house we take a liquid and then it's more than five mil so we drop it we we'll drop a little i think we have five mil here so let's take it for test okay from what we got from the tap rushing rushing in my house all right from the ball hole this is what we have i'll drop two drop of this into it one two hey god can you see this can, can you see this this is the tap that is rushing in my house we don't drink i don't drink this water i don't even use it to drink tea all right this is what is rushing in the house all right so can you see this this is, a, this is what so many people drink and then they have health issue all right so this is some this is exactly what some people are drinking once you drink water from your house this is exactly what you are drinking so i think um you need to have something like this at home in order for you to test your water so i'm going to be uh, coming i'm going the next video is going to be how you can prepare this at home how you can prepare your liquid tester at home so you can be testing your water or soy or any other thing I want to say thank you for watching this video please share this video because this video is good for everybody it's good for fish farmers and people that are not even fish farmers no matter who you are this video is very very important to you because you i know you usually drink water so please hit the like button share this video and then subscribe to this channel if you are if you are new to this channel or you have not yet subscribed to this channel subscribe to this channel as i said earlier the next video is going to be how you can prepare your ph tester at home bye